Hi guys, this is Amir from MMOs.com and I'm doing a quick uh, first impression to gameplay video for a game called uh, Stardew Valley. Now I do want to say this is not an MMO, it's just a single player game right now, though they are adding a co-op feature later. But I want to do a video for it because it's a game I'm enjoying so far, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, it's available on Steam, it just launched in uh, late February, I think the 27th, 26th, or the 28th, one of those days. But let's go ahead and get started right now, we are on uh, my ranch in the game. And if you're familiar with Harvest Moon, it is very much like Harvest Moon because it looks just like it. It's a PC version of Harvest Moon with co-op elements. The co-op stuff isn't quite out yet, but uh, they're working on it. So this is my farm right now. I actually named it Big Dick Ranch, the BDR, the Big Dick Ranch over here. I just harvested a bunch of potatoes, so there's nothing there right now. Got my scarecrow over there, scaring away those uh, evil crows that are eating my foods. And this game is actually very popular on Steam right now. As a big fan of the Harvest Moon franchise, I've played a lot of Harvest Moon games and I've played a lot. The ones I've played the most are Friends of Mineral Town for Game Boy Advanced. Played that one to death. Married Karen there. She was the wife over there. And I'll show you the wife I'm going for right now. Let's see, my, my social menu. I, I talked to most of the town people and you can see if they're single, they are eligible waifu materials. I am going to go for probably... We'll probably go for Haley. She's she's the wife we're working on. Though I have nothing on any of them right now because I'm only like three hours in. I'm still working on my goods. Abigail's not bad either. You know, Abigail's wife from material as well. Uh, not, not oh, stop this. and speak of the devil. There she is. Abigail, talk to me. Let's see. Oh hey, taking a break from work. Look, we're gonna give her. We're gonna give her some daffodils. All right. Here you go. Here you go, girl. You bought me a present. Thank you. That's all. You're not gonna give me a kiss. Let's give me another one. Only one a day. Alright, that's all we got for you. I remember Friends of Mineral Town, Karen was the one at the bar. She was the easiest to get. You just give her, like you buy wine and you just give it to her. You just get her all drunk up and good to go. So right now we're trying to get ourselves to the Adventures Guild, which is up over there. So this is the game's map over here. You can see M to see it. Big Dick Ranch over there. I was going to name the Big Dick if it was going to put Farm at the end. I didn't know it was going to put Farm at the end, so I had to put Big Dick Ranch. So we're going to run towards the Adventures Guild. So it's more like Rune Factory than Harvest Moon, only because there is combat in the game. I have a sword equipped right, right here. And the combat's not bad. It, it all takes place in the mines for the most part, it looks like. But I have not been to the Wizard's Tower yet in a few other locations, so I'm sure there's that will be combat in other places too. So we're going up over here. We're gonna, we took the scenic route. We went all the way around. Pretty sure stuff over here. So I've been playing this game for a few hours so far, and I do really like it. It's doing really well on Steam for a reason. People do like Harvest Moon style games. If you don't like Harvest Moon style games, you're obviously not gonna like uh, Stardew Valley. But uh, if it's up your alley, there's a lot to like. It's there's there's a lot of it's quality games so far. Quality game, great music, nice cast of little characters in the game. Surprisingly good production value too. There's just a ton of variety. So Avengers Guild should be up over here. We didn't find any other waifus to give our our flowers and stuff to, but we'll find them later. And this should be good for me to go. And the game has quests too, you can see them over here, the initiation quest, I gotta do this one right now, enter the adventures guild, I kill 10 slime that gives me access to it, a few other quests I didn't do yet, reach level 40 of the mines of the next quest in there, raising animals, uh, I don't have <coughs> any animals just yet, and I actually don't have my watering, I would, I'd buy more seeds right now too, but I don't have my watering can because I'm upgrading it, need a new sword, uh, no I want to hand my quest bro, I gotta join, I gotta join this, he sells a wooden blade, uh, no thanks, I got my blade already, we got some other goods over here. You can sell stuff directly to the NPC if you want to, but we're not going to do that. Monster eradication goals. F wow, I got to kill a lot more slimes, guys. This is uh, it's quite the quest. See guild to claim my rewards. That guild. Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Hey, kid, I'm trying to join the Adventures Guild. How do I join this? Maybe I click on this. Nope, he's just probably joined the Adventures Guild, guys. Let me in. Uh... Am I already in? Initiation is no longer here. I guess I'm in by default. That's kind of odd. Uh, yeah, we're in. I'm gonna go to the mine right now and uh, use my energy over there for today. I would plant seeds again, but I don't have my watering can. So we're gonna get some resources so we don't waste a day. I did to get more gifts. I have a lot of gifts over here. So we're gonna take the mine shaft down to level 15, which is where I'm at. And it's very much like a traditional Harvest Moon game. Though, in, in a lot of ways, it's better because it just feels more optimized. Being able to just, it just feels more fluid and more responsive in a way. And things stack, you can loot items quicker. You can just interact with the game a lot quicker. I mean, it's a solid experience so far. Gotta find the next level. Let's go kill this guy over here. But we gotta knock these down first. Nice, more resources for me. This guy can kill that slime too. 
And there's different we more weapons you can get, more stuff you can unlock. I just started the game, and I I'm really liking it so far. I think it's 50 bucks on Steam. But really, the innovative aspect of Stardew Valley is going to be its co-op. I do believe they're going to support four-player co-op, so you can play with four people at once, which is incredible. You know, all four of you can farm, you can go on adventures together, and that's really cool because really a cooperative Harvest Moon has sort of been like a really awesome concept for a long time. I've thought about it years ago, but it's never been done, I don't think. Obviously, you have games like uh, you know, Farmville, but those aren't really Harvest Moon style games. This is a genuine Harvest Moon style game. There we go. We find the next level. New enemies down here too. We got some bugs charging at us. You can see the my HP bar. And the cool thing about this game too is there's actually skills. The more you do combat, you actually gain a skill in combat. So you end up having more HP and other goodies. The more you farm, you gain actually skill in farming, which you know, increases your stamina and gives you other goodies. And this crafting too. It just it just done really, really well. So you see my crafting menu right now. I can make a bee house, which I don't have the mats for right now. I could make a furnace, which I already have. Mayonnaise machine, uh, no point because I don't have eggs yet. You can even craft some seeds if you have the right materials. Sprinkler, whoa, that's actually really cool. It waters stuff for you. That's amazing. That makes your it makes it so much easier because I know in uh, Fairs of Middle Town you used to be able to hire the sprites and other games you can hire sprites to do work for you. Over here you can actually get, build a sprinkler. We need iron bars though. Copper bars are easy to get. I have not gotten any iron bars yet. I get stones but not iron. So I think we gotta dig a little deeper into the mine to get that. I mean, you unlock new crafting materials as you keep playing, so we don't get to see all the good stuff yet. I did look around on the wikis too, but there is a lot of fun stuff to craft. And if you have a friend that likes to play Harvest Moon, you can play together when the co-op stuff is out. Can we kill these guys? What are they doing over here? Easy kills. What do I get? Oh man. There's a... You received a bug meat! Nice. Nice bug meat for me. Bug meat. I'm not sure why I even did that, because I have like four of them now, so it's not even like rare. Delicious bug meats. We can go further down over here. Well, we got two staircases down. So you can find your staircase by fighting enemies or just breaking down the rocks. Right click on it to interact with it. This is the furthest I've gotten into mine too right now. It's going to bring uh, food and stuff down here with you if you need it. Because uh, if you're down here and you die, you kind of lose your progress in here. Again, very similar to Harvest Moon. Kill this crab guy. <clears throat> so far, again, solid game. Worth playing in my opinion. Get wrecked, crab. Easiest crab kill of my life. Oh, he dropped something. We gotta loot that. All right, I gotta, I gotta eat this. Eat the daffodil. Yes, delicious. And now we got the crab meat. That thing sells, I think, for a hundred. So that's a, that's a big winner right there. We don't want to pick up the, the the grass from there just yet. And these floors do get pretty big. I'm not sure how far I have to go to start getting iron though. We just have copper right now. And killing these guys again, you get loot as well as that. Uh, you gain your skill. And it'll tell you what, what your skill is at when you go to sleep. So I think we can probably see it in the, our menu. I get dot over here. Can't move when you get poisoned. You can't move really slowly. So the other the other girls, uh, I'm curious what events there are for these. We gave Abigail one gift today. So I'm curious, you give two gifts? So maybe two different kinds of gifts or different times. But I have zero hearts with, with all of them right now. In fact, I'm pretty sure I even meet all the townspeople. I haven't even talked to this guy yet. Two of these guys I gotta find. This guy looks so emo. We don't want to talk to him. And the wizard over there. Leia's not bad either. She's got she got waifu material potential too. But uh, it's undecided right now. I, I, I gotta check out that personalities, you know? Gotta feel them out. Get more rocks. Man, this mine, this area is huge. Oh, there we go. It's hidden down over here at the exit. Sometimes it's just in the corner. Ooh, uh, kinda, I'll eat these real quick too, these salmon berries. You find a lot of wild stuff out there too, to, you know, while you're exploring the town and stuff. Again, very much like Harvest Moon. This fishing, this house upgrades, all the good stuff. I, again, I looked around the wiki, and there is a lot in this game. And it's got glowing reviews on Steam so far. Over 20,000 players online the first day came up. And 20,000 on Steam concurrently is amazing. And that's just at launch. I think you can, you can pick up Steam, too, if they add the multiplayer. I want to pick these up, but I have, I have no room. I can eat these uh, cave carrots. We can throw these away. We don't need slimes. I can, I can also get a bigger rucksack later, too, which I just don't have right now. Throw it in there, and let's get these. Get those quartz. I can't pick this one up. Oh, because it's two different stacks. If it's like a rare quartz, a higher quality quartz, it takes up its own uh, sl slot. Super guy. I gotta kill this first. You can get better weapons too and gear. I'm wearing my. I, I have no like, hat or accessories right now. I just have boots. He's plus one defense. The fact that you can actually get sprinklers too in the game, it lets you do a lot more stuff than just farming, so it feels like less of a grind. All works out really well. 
keep yourself deep. I need. I want to get those irons. Oh man, more delicious cave carrots for me. Oh man, can we get these two? No, I I gotta throw something else away. We, we can throw this copper away. I have a lot of copper already. What are these geodes? You know, I already have like six geodes I haven't opened up yet, so we can throw these away. And let's loot all of these delicious things. There's two more up over there. After that, I'm gonna go to the next day because uh, I wanna see if I can get my next watering can because I gotta make more money. I'm broke. I got a ton of seeds to plant too. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, what floor am I on right now? I think if I go one more floor down, I can get a checkpoint. Every che every five floors is a checkpoint, so you can always come back easier. And I do have a quest to get to level 20, but it's it might be too deep. Let's go. Uh, let's go further up. You can never go too deep. Let's go up. It's only uh, let's see what time it is in the game too. Uh, it's 10:20. It's getting late anyway in the game. I want to go this way, but I got to upgrade my. I can't break this yet. I'm not sure what this guy does. Pickaxe not strong enough to break. So if you liked Harvest Moon games on DS, on consoles, I personally played a lot of Harvest Moon 64, Harvest Moon DS. Harvest Moon DS, cute actually, I believe, because it was a newer one. I also played Treasure Mineral Town. Those are the three I played the most. I've played the PS2 one as well. There's just, I mean, these games are really, the Harvest Moon games have always been kind of the same. And the good thing about Stardew Valley is it's made by a different company. It's not Natsumi making another farming game. It's, it's some other developer and Again, very much inspired by Harvest Moon, but it, it feels more responsive, sleeker, and honestly, it's I'm liking it a lot so far. I think I think they do, they do a lot of things better. The skill system, for example, you get big upgrades, and it gives you more reason to adventure, do other things. And the world, I still haven't explored everything yet. A lot of things are just slightly out of your reach right now. There's a bridge down on, uh, if we go to the map, there's a bridge over here I have, to, I have to complete to get to this part of the map, and you get it by getting more wood. And there's so much you can, you can you know, my farm is huge too. Hopefully we can fill everything up eventually. Got a, got a mass farm. I have a ton of seeds too in my I just bought, so that's why I have no money. Let's go to sleeps for now. Again, this is not an MO, it's just a game I'm playing for fun. But it does have you know, again, there are workers of co-op elements, so that's nice. Level three mining, nice. I get one plus one pickaxe proficiency. And a new cooking recipe. Fifth of spring year one. I got nothing today. <clears throat> Though I did drop off the stuff yet. I'm gonna go drop off in the morning. My shipping basket. Probably should have done it earlier too, though. The game auto saves every time you sleep. I'll show you another nice thing about this game. Like you could very easily just customize your house. If you could just move things. How do I move it? I got to unequip something right now. Oh, I, oh, I can't move this. That's why. Uh, put this stuff in here. We could drop off more of my rocks. This stuff we're gonna sell, and we'll drop off the copper. If you pick this up, you can just decorate your house any way you want. Whereas in, Har in the Harvest Moon games, these are really static in your house. You can move almost everything around. So the customization is actually really solid. I can move this around too if I put my inventory. If the chair, we can put it next to the fireplace, get nice and toasty. And it's really cool that you can move all the stuff around. You can customize your house exactly the way you want. And my house is tiny right now, so it kind of sucks. But of course, you know, you can get it bigger and bigger. And we got some mail. Let's go dump, stuff, st dump some stuff off in here first. Uh, we're going to keep the flowers. Because we can, uh, what else can we put in there? These ancient seeds. All right, we'll show that to Gunter. Now, Gunter is not a penguin from Adventure Time in this game. He's the museum curator. Uh, did I give this stuff to, uh, no, I, I can ship this too. And I'll keep the daffodil. And we'll check the mail. What do I got in the mail today? And there's festivals and stuff too. And all the good stuff from Harvest Moon. I'll be feeling settled into your new home. I was ready to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. That's not a bad idea. You can get... You probably grow yourself even quicker then. I got a... It is raining right now, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and plant my seeds right now because tomorrow I should get my water basket anyway. I have a lot of planting to do. But I probably should get the fertilizer first, shouldn't I? I'm too broke to buy fertilizer anyway. Can I add fertilizer after I plant? I feel like I can't. And we got to plant and uh, we got to make it symmetrical and nice. The scarecrow is this game too, I was saying earlier. What is this? If you open a scarecrow down, the birds eat your stuff, which kind of gets annoying. Put these down. The good thing about the rain is you don't have to water if it's raining. It just makes it nice. It's gotta be perfect. All right. Now we're gonna plant all of these down. And I like Harvest Moon. You plant these quite easily. You just put them down like this. It's really anywhere you click. And I find it easier if you're just walking while you're doing it. Delicious cauliflowers will be planted. These take forever to grow though. But I should be able to grow all these before the season end runs out. And yes, some of you probably think this is a Harvest Moon clone. And in a way, again, it obviously is. But it's really solid. And if you like Harvest Moon, no reason not to play it. 
Alright, we gotta plant all of them, alright boys? We gotta plant a couple more. We're gonna use our hoe, and bam. Plant three more of these. Why can't I plant these here? Oh, click the wrong thing. The seeds are these. Alright. I, I might have put on the scarecrow over here, otherwise I might, I might get screwed on that. Let's go adventure over here again. And when it's raining, it kind of sucks, because you can't, um... You can still gather these resources in town and stuff for free, but you can't... People aren't wandering around town to give them gifts, so you gotta find them in their in their homes. And I'm not familiar where everybody is just yet. Yes, more delicious uh, salmon berries. I have a lot of my other tools in uh, in my shed and base. But yeah, it's it's a really solid Harvest Moon game. If you haven't played it yet and you like Harvest Moon, check it out. It's 15 bucks, which it might seem a little bit steep for an indie game, but considering DS games are like 30 bucks and more, so it's not really that expensive. Uh, there's a saloon over here too. You can play some. There's actually arcade games here you can play too, but it doesn't open just yet. Uh, I'm still early on in the game, but I'm liking it a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna call it for here for now. Uh, it's just a quick look at this game because I've been playing it for a while. But I can't get too addicted because Black Desert Online is uh, is coming out real soon, so I gotta play that as well. But I'll end up playing both. This is a really. I'm liking it a lot. Great uh, great Harvest Moon S game. This is the basically the Walmart of the town, the JoJo Mart. You can buy a membership card over there for other goodies. This spooky place over here too, the haunted little house. And it's it's a charming game. Great music. Solid stuff. Check it out. Anyway guys, uh later.